morning everyone. My name is Miss Marilyn and welcome to Online Storytime. Today we're going to get started the way we always do. We're going to shake our sillies out. Ready? We're going to shake, shake, shake our sillies out. Shake, shake, shake our sillies out. Shake, shake, shake our sillies out and wiggle our waggles away. We're going to clap, clap, clap our crazies out. Clap, clap, clap our crazies out. Clap, clap. Clap our crazies out and wiggle our waggles away. We're gonna stretch, stretch, stretch our stretchies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch our stretchies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch our stretchies out and wiggle our waggles away. We're gonna yawn, yawn, yawn our yawnies out. Yawn, yawn our yawnies out. Yawn, yawn, yawn our yawnies out and wiggle our waggles away. Good job, guys. Thanks for singing with me. Well, if you haven't guessed, today we are going to read stories about teeth. And our first story is about somebody who has a lot of teeth. This story is called Clarabella's Teeth. It's time to wake up. Ruby brushes her rabbit teeth. Liam brushes his leopard teeth. Max brushes his monkey teeth. And Zoe brushes her zebra teeth. And Clarabella? She brushes and brushes and brushes her crocodile teeth. Hey, it's playtime! Ruby builds a sandcastle. Liam races on his scooter. Max makes a mess. And Zoe plays with a puzzle. And Clarabella? Oh, she brushes and brushes and brushes her crocodile teeth. She's missing out on all the fun. It's lunchtime. Ruby nibbles at a ripe mango. Liam licks a lollipop. Max sips a milkshake. And Zoe munches a sandwich. And Clarabella? Ah, oh, she brushes and brushes and brushes and brushes her crocodile teeth. It's tumble time. Ruby rolls over. Liam leaps, Max bounces up and down, and Zoe spins round and round. And Clarabella? <sighs> she has brushed all of her crocodile teeth and is ready to play. Uh-oh, but where are her friends? They're getting ready for bed. It's time to brush our teeth, say Zoe and Liam and Max and Ruby. And Clarabella? She sighs a long crocodile sigh. <sighs> well then, Ruby has an idea. Close your eyes, Clarabella. It's a surprise. <gasps> what do you think the surprise could be? It's a crocodile toothbrush for Clarabella. Hooray, cheer Ruby and Liam and Max and Zoe. Tomorrow we can play together. And Clarabella, she smiles a big crocodile smile. Can you guys show me your big crocodile smiles? Lots of teeth. Okay, so we're actually gonna sing a song about brushing your teeth all times of the day. And this song is called Brush Your Teeth. When you wake up in the morning, it's a quarter to one, and you want to have a little fun. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. When you wake up in the morning, it's a quarter to two, and you're looking for something to do. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. When you wake up in the morning, it's a quarter to three, and your mind starts humming a tweedly dee. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. When you get up in the morning, it's a quarter to four, and you think you hear a knock on the door. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. When you wake up in the morning, it's a quarter to five, and you just can't wait to come alive. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. You brush your teeth. You can brush your teeth any time of day. All right, it's time for our next story. And this story 
is about somebody whose teeth might be a little bit different than you. It's called, I Love My Fangs. I love my fangs. They are pointy and they are sharp. Who is that? It's a little vampire. They are a family treat. Good care is important, like brushing and flossing. Look how dazzling those teeth are. My fangs are very special. All right, now it's time to suck down a juice box and pop. Uh-oh. Oh, it's okay, I can push it right back in. Uh, oh no, it fell out. Oh no, I can't have only one fang, I'm a vampire. What if I were just to tape it back in? Do you think that'll work? No. How about tying it back in? No. What if I stuck it with some bubble gum? No. No one could possibly notice. Oh no, everyone noticed. I'm never coming out again. I'm gonna go to sleep. And during the night, someone arrived, landed by the pillow, and my thing! Come back here, you little fairy! Who might that be? I think you guys know. This is my thing! What on earth is going on downstairs? calls a voice. She's stealing my thing! Silly Dracula, she's the tooth fairy. It is her job. She takes your baby teeth so you can grow into strong adult teeth. But this wasn't his mine. I don't want to give it up. Hmm. Maybe you do need it more. I guess one fang is better than none. And during the night, oh, I see a little tooth and a medium tooth, and now it's a big tooth. <gasps> Look at my new fang! It's so pointy! It's so sharp! I can't wait for another one to pop out. The end. I bet vampires do really like their fangs. Well, speaking of loose teeth, we're going to do a little counting with the teeth that we have up here. So let's see, how many teeth do we have today? We have one, two, three, four, five. Five teeth. There were five loose teeth nibbling on an apple core. <gasps> Pop! One of them came out. And then there were how many? One, two, three, four. Four loose teeth, as happy as can be, but pop, out came another one. And then there were one, two, three. Three loose teeth, smiling straight at you, pop, went another one. And then there were two. Two loose teeth, sure think brushing is fun. But another one popped out, and then there was one. One loose tooth all alone. Pop! Went the last one, and then there were none. No more teeth, they all fell out. It's okay, some big strong adult teeth will come in after those little baby teeth fell out. Well, I've got one more story for you today. And this one is actually going to teach us about a trip to the dentist. This one is called Dentist Tools. Let's visit the dentist. A dentist uses tools to check and clean your teeth. She keeps your mouth healthy. 
A patient is a person who visits the dentist, and patients sit in a special chair. A dentist checks your teeth and gums. He wears a mask and gloves. A dentist uses a mouth mirror. It shows you deep inside your mouth. The dentist uses a scraper tool. This tool helps clean your teeth. How do you guys clean your teeth at home? You should use your toothbrush and floss. Floss fits in tight spaces and it cleans between teeth. The dentist may take x-rays. X-rays show the inside of your teeth and they show if you have a cavity. Hopefully you don't. Well, what if the dentist finds a cavity? She uses a special tool to clean it out and then the hole is filled. A dentist may give you a toothbrush and floss so that you can keep your teeth healthy at home. Man, look at all those tools we learned about today. We learned about the scraper that cleans your teeth, the mouth mirror that lets you look inside the mouth, floss that fits in between your teeth to clean, and gloves and a mask that keep your dentist safe while he works on your mouth. The end. All right, that was my last story for you today. So we're gonna go ahead and sing our closing song, If You're Happy and You Know It. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, pat your knees. If you're happy and you know it, pat your knees. If you're happy and you know it, your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, pat your knees. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're mad and you know it, your face will surely show it. If you're mad and you know it, stomp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray, hooray. Thanks for singing along with me, guys, and thanks for listening to the stories. I'll see you next time.